Okay, trying to um, explain this the best way I can. Again, you're going to use this ring here, this ring here, this ring, and then this ring right here. Um, what you want to do is take your open ring, and you want to go down through this one, and go down through this one, and when you cross over, you want to bring it up through this, and up through this one as well. So let me try to show this to you the best way as I can. So take the ring, take it down through it, Again, down through this one here as well, so it links them together. And when you come across, you can see you want to bring it up through that one there as well. And then try to bring it up through that one there. And as you can see, and this is probably looking very really bad off the camera. But if you can, if you did it correctly, go ahead and grab the two edges here. Like you always did at the open ring. Try to close it as best way as you can. And then clamp it shut. Like that. And then if you lay it, if you did it correctly, when you lay it down, it should lay completely flat. Like this. Let's see here. As you can see, it's laying really nice and flat. Uh, basically, I'm trying to show you with the pencil here what I did is the ring that we did, we added here, was the center ring that you see going in the center like this. Uh, and we had it going down through the this one here, and we went down through this one. We went over across this, uh, this segment here, and we brought it up through this ring here. And then we also brought it up through this one here. And you can see how it's looping over top of these two and through the other two in the back here. Uh, and then when you close it off, like I said, it should have a nice smooth looking pattern to it. Um, and then what you want to do is the exact same thing with these two rings and connect it with these two rings and then so forth with these two over to these two. So you're just going to need three rings to fill these, uh, to fill the gap that was that you saw here before. Okay, moving on to the uh, next two connections here that you see. Um, first of all, I apologize for the really close space that I have here. I had to try to set up um, some CD cases here to get the aerial view like I had last time. Um, I had somebody hold the camera for me last time, but it's like 4 in the morning right now, so nobody else is awake. But um, go ahead and take your open piece, as you can see here. And again, uh, let me get my pencil here. I can't find my pencil. No, let's use this one. There it is. There and now what you want to do is you want to take the open end here and you want to kick down through this one here. So you want to go under that. Under this one here. And then when you move the ring over to this side, you want to bring it up through this one right here and then you're also going to bring it up through this one too so this one right here and then that'll connect these uh, these four rings right here together so go ahead and try doing that I'll try to show it to you as best as I can with the uh, limited space I have here uh, I apologize for the camera angle but uh, first thing I'm going to do is just down through this one here You can see it's it's just pretty much length on that right now. Take it out real quick, sorry. We we'll go ahead and one one way you could try to do it actually is go ahead and put them together as best as you can like that, and then just simply in one pass through. Just take it through and take it down through both the rings that I showed you, just like that right there. And it's kind of hard to see, but as you can see here, this ring is going underneath this ring here and this ring right here. And go ahead and just keep turning the ring into you know, I'm starting to lose it now. 
keep turning the ring until you start coming up through this one here as you can see now it's coming up through this loop uh, right here so the ring is now going underneath this one going down through it it's going down through this one here coming underneath the um, going across here and you'll be going coming up through the middle of this one and then this one right here as well so go ahead and grab that and as you can see you can go ahead and link that I have to do this off camera since I don't have much space but just like every other time you would go ahead and grab this out of it with the pliers here same thing with the other side and then try to close it as best as you can and match it up on the sides there as you can see and then once more take the sides and clamp it shut and if you did it correctly you should have this nice smooth pattern just like the other side so now you got these two links that are completely done and all that's left is the uh, third and final link right here so you go ahead and take your third ring let me open this one up a little bit real quick you don't have to open up it too much but you know just enough that you feel comfortable with it. so something like this here and again for this one you're gonna go down through this ring here down through this one and when you come over across here you're gonna bring it up through this one and up through this one here and so go ahead and take the rings or the open ring there and again try to go ahead and get two both of the rings there at the same time so now this the open ring that we have here is going underneath or going down through this ring here and this one here and then you can bring it up across over to this ring here and then this ring and once you have this once more Grab it with the pliers, best as you can, try to match it up with each side. And grab the sides of it, and clamp it shut. And there you have it. That's your uh, first actual piece of chainmail. Um, again, if you don't get this the very first time, um, just practice it. it. It's really hard to get used to, it really is. So, I mean, it took me a while to actually get a hang of it. But uh, after a while, uh, you'll be able to make what I have here. As you can see, let me turn the camera around a little bit. Yeah, it's not, not entirely too much, but yet anyways but it's too very heavy <laughs> but just imagine all the little rings I had to use to create this this massive pile of metal <laughs> but there you go that's it's not too hard to make it's pretty easy um, very inexpensive too uh, it's, it doesn't cost too much money um, it's uh, like I said, I believe it's just 14 gauge fencing wire that you can just spin into a little coil that you can make like a little dowel rod out of and attach it to a drill and then coil it around it. But, uh, there you go. Um, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to leave me comments, uh, subscribe to my page, you know. You know the whole routine with every YouTube account. Uh, just leave me some messages though if you have any type of uh, questions or need help. I can maybe try to do this a little bit better. It's, uh, it's kind of bad for my first tutorial for this type of um, uh, video tutorial, I guess you could say.
And uh, thanks for watching.